In this video, I'm going to talk about the integration of Start into Studio 7. How do we create an Atmel Start or Atmel Start example project directly from Studio? And also, how do we do iterative development, reconfiguring Atmel Start projects and handling diff merge, etc.? And also, how do we generate ABR code project documentation? So within Studio, I am able to file new Atmel Start project. And here, just like on the web, I'm able to have both hardware and software requirements for my project, which helps me filter down the number of a suitable microcontrollers on which to run the project. Alternatively, I can also search for example projects. And here I can filter, just like on the web, with a number of different options. If, for instance, I'm interested in the distance measurement from this application note, which we can find online, I'll download this project. So here the project is actually open and I can navigate and understand how it's been configured. And for instance, I'm going to have a look at the ADC and I can see that that is set up to run in 10-bit mode. So now I can generate the project. And at this point, it will create the project in Atmel Studio. So now our project is created and we can start working and development with it. So one of the things to have a look at is there's a Doxygen plugin to generate documentation. And here I can see documentation of the AVR code, which is specific to this project that we have created. So now if, for instance, I decided that I wanted to modify something and uh, as I'm playing around, I decide that I'm going to just update the ADC resolution and I see that there's an option of 8 bits. So I update the resolution. Now I want to regenerate the start project, reconfigure. So here we notice that the ADC should still have the 10-bit resolution here because it hasn't been changed on this side. Let's leave it as it is and see how Start will handle this difference. So as you can see, the files are downloaded and it compared with the local project. We can click on a view diff and we can see the line that we changed and we can accept that if we want so that we go back to the 10-bit resolution. One thing to note is that in order to adjust any of the settings of anything that we've worked with today with the start integration, there's an Atmel start section in the options. Here is where you'll point to the EXE from Doxygen once you've installed that if you want the project documentation. File compare there's some description here about using WinMerge and how I've linked that in. And then the settings, here is the URL for start. And one note about the editor, since we have a fairly large project open, note how useful this list methods in current file is to find a certain function like the ISR, for example, and also using the Visual Assist outline mode. So here you can see all the functions and easily navigate the file.